Good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot com. Today I will show you a radio button tag helper in ESP dot net core. So uh, you can also consider how to bind a radio button with the enum type, a enumerable type. So uh, first of all, create a class that is role class in which we have two property that is id and the name role name and after that i will create in another class that is uh, user class a user class consists of a role class with i enumerable type or you can say a list type first user id second username third role public i enumerable type the role and roles is a public property now the another field for uh, or you can say selecting value field is selected role that's fine now for creating you can open a home controller in which you can add a new variable of the type user a new user in the class user have the is a u capital okay in which you can add a single object but that object hold multiple roles so so in the roles you can add a list of roles okay new list of roles Because roles property hold a list type, a enumerable type, in which you can add a new role. So create a object of the role class, new role, ID one, and role name is admin. another one is reader in new role id is 2 and the role name is reader okay that's fine in return section you can pass the item that is user model okay now add a new view that is if you uh, if you have already a view sections for the for their respective action method then must to uh, delete first and after that create a new view
if you want to scratch design then uh, then you can you select empty without model if you uh, want to set a list type then set the temp uh, you can use the templates but in this example i will take empty oh the view is already exist so first to delete add a new view section add a new user model in the directive section user okay that's fine now design a form there is no need to uh, add action methods because in this tutorial I will not handle a get post method So on a label control you can display property of the model class. So by using for each loop a user or model have with the roles property so model dot roles with multiple types for the username and selected role the ESP4 is directly directed to the uh, selected role property so uh, use for each loop model dot roles property Input type equals to radio and the value is at the rate item dot ID and the role name is also ASP4 is referred to the selected role property. at the rate item dot role name
okay that's fine so you can test your uh, result a radio button combined with the model class successfully so radio button tag helper in esp.net code is successful yeah select a role admin and reader when you select admin then uh, selective is 0 and reader is 1 so thank you thank you very much again please keep watching my all other video tutorials for better learning esp.net mvc code